So, um, yeah, so you guys have just uh, finished doing the Breaking Barriers training with Tony, is that right? Yes. yes. So, any feedback for Tony or for other people that might want to do this training? Um, right. Well, I really enjoyed doing the actual games. Um, so, being as a participant, um, what I really like is that the, 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 we play the games, but then we also look at them more deeply. Mm -hmm. and how they can be used and how it went for us so that deeper analysis into the games that's something that's you know i feel i've got a lot out of it mm -hmm. usually i do the reflection after the game because i normally play game after game and not really reflecting much and there's so much to be gained out of reflecting and how we be within each game and and I'm kind of really uh, fascinated how we can turn every game into a, a play mm -hmm. and, so, and, and see people acting out scenes out of that play and mm -hmm. shifting focus from a pair or a person and then it, that play comes about miraculously. Mm. I found that when uh, you got us to do improvisations that I was quite nervous to start with and I was thinking, gosh, I haven't done this for years, but I get young people to do it all the time. <laughs> and uh, Lydia and I were saying that it's really good to get back in touch with um, what you're getting other people to do, the practical side of it, and it's fun, you can have a laugh, it's very um, engaging, and then you really are reminded of the value of the work that we do, which is really, really good. For me, it was quite good to be out of my comfort zone, not hiding behind the puppet, and doing role playing. You've got a nice opportunity to to do something you don't get the chance to do yourself, also as a leader of sessions. I think the same because obviously, not coming from a drama background or anything, it's proper out of my comfort. I haven't done anything like this before, really, or not for years, and since I was at school. So it was really good, like I've learned a lot just from the games, the activities and a lot that I can go and apply to the young people I work with. I've enjoyed um, re-looking at four of the today as well. Mm. Um, and really understanding how different exercises, like the chair exercise, can help a group kind of articulate how they're feeling. Mm. About things and, and yeah, loads of different exercises. I think it's nice to be able to to really understand what your standpoint is on different things. And sometimes talking about it isn't the only way to do it. Sometimes mm -hmm. making it into your physical, your whole physical being, and you're like, oh, I don't mm -hmm. like schools or I don't mm -hmm. like institutions or I feel as though they block me off. That's mm -hmm. what I found myself doing. I was like, oh, <laughs> what's that about? Um, and so, yeah, the articulation comes the other way around, as opposed to like words and thought process. It's really reactionary, and I've enjoyed that a lot. I'm used to more on articulation, like improvisation and comedy. Mm. It's about, mostly about talking, coming up with ideas on the spot. Mm. And this is, as you said, reflecting afterwards and kind of creating things more instantaneously. Mm. But the games are providing like little metaphors, mm. we're looking into deeper meanings and Philosophizing. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> with humour. <laughs> but it's nice to be kind of reminded of, of those games, but kind of uh, looking at them in a different way, you know, because, you know, we've mm -hmm. done some games and thought, oh, never thought we could look at it this way or mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. um, and that's been very um, uplifting as well, you know, to see that we already have some resources, but we can use them in a greater, mm -hmm. in a greater way. Okay, sounds like you're kind of done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.